What's up everyone and now it's time to learn how to use AI in combination with After Effects to create super seamless transitions. It's super exciting to read all your feedback on the latest AI video. So I thought, let's do another one. Let's share more of that knowledge on how we can use these new tools to just make even better videos, secret transitions, and just in general, epic videos. So let's jump right in. All right, so you're going to learn how to create this transition here. This guy is dropping the Creator Slop can into this orange liquid and that is just a seamless transition let me show the two clips so first of all we have that clip and it's actually ai generated if you want to learn this check out the creators club i have an in-depth module in there just about ai and how i create all of those images like even the cans and everything creators club energy doesn't even exist and it's just insane but let's focus on that transition here so that is the first clip and i wanted to yes yeah, smoothly seamlessly generate into this epic bullet time splash club energy. You may be familiar with this project and with the timeline here. If not, make sure to check out the previous tutorial. That's where I show you how to create the seamless eye in transition. And I just love that one. Really, let's be honest, like this is just a super sick effect. You could do this either with real footage as well as with AI generated footage. That is the cool thing. So let's take this even a step further and create the next transition. So, so first thing I'm dragging here, the liquid orange uh, clip onto a new comp and this comp I'm dragging into my main comp here. Let's see how it looks. So we have that clip and that clip. Not too exciting, right? The first thing we need to do is we need to export two frames. The last frame of the first clip and the first frame of the second clip. So I want to export the last frame here of, of that clip. Go to File, Export, Add to Render Queue, and in here I'm choosing the PNG sequence. Let's go, okay. And now I'm exporting this one here to the PNGs. I render this one. And I also want to export the first frame of the second video, right? So I quickly adjust it here to this to this frame. So I want this frame to export as well. Same steps, add to render queue, change it here to PNG sequence, perfect. And the folder is fine. Perfect, so now I have both in my folder here in PNGs. I have the last frame of the first clip and the first frame of the second clip. And now we're going to use Higgsfield.ai to create a seamless transition. So in here, you can see I already played around with the settings. If you're not familiar with Higgsfield, you can just go on Higgsfield.ai. That's going to look like that. Then you go to create and video. And you can also check out the other features. Like they are just insane. They're adding features almost every week. So in here, you can now change to all different kind of presets for effects, camera controls, and all sorts of presets in general. Like this is just so epic to play around with, but now we are focusing on the transition. So you see here, I can also add a first frame and the last frame and a prompt. And that's exactly what we're going to do. What you can do with real footage, with AI footage, whatever, you can create super seamless transition. So let's direct now to our right folder with the PNGs and upload, first of all, the first frame here of the first video, the frame of the first video, but the last frame and the splash frame here. So now you can browse through all of those effects here. I think it is important for those types of transitions that we are planning to have a cool camera control. And I was playing around with a lot of those camera movements here. It depends really on your shot. I didn't even enter the prompt. I just made sure enhance on is on the prompt settings, Higgsfield is going to create a prompt just based on your images and the preset you choose here. So make sure to select an effect here that makes sense. Maybe an arc left makes sense or a bullet time or head tracking makes sense for your transition. So play around with some of those epic camera controls or with the basic camera controls to see what matches your movement, your framing and your transition in general. And then all you have to do is click on generate and see if the generation hits our expectations. Perfect, so now we have a clip of the guy dropping the can. It's not important that the can and everything has to be 100% because we can speed ramp it or we can cover those imperfections with our editing skills, right? So that is the big benefit. That's why we are in this epic era and we editors I guess just get supercharged because we have now those tools where we can play around with and use our editing skills to really make them look as best as possible. Let's download this clip here. I'm going to download it and jump into 
the download folder here and just calling this the second transition. And now I'm dropping it into the right folder here into clips and here in After Effects. I'm just importing this one in here, perfect. And now I drag it onto the new comp icon and now we have that. So now we have to just drag the new comp here into our main timeline. Yes, just like that. And now, boom, we can match it like that for the transition. Really, really cool, right? So now we just have to fit the comp size because the clip is smaller. So we can just press Option, Command F to fit the frame size. Nice, just like that. But make sure we are cutting in here when the clip is starting. So now I'm just gonna cut the beginning here, just like that. So it the action happens right away. So we can like speed ramp it like that. And here we go back, transition. We seamlessly transition to the can. So look at that, nice. So now we have the transition that you can learn in the previous YouTube tutorial where we go in with the eye and then we transition into this epic group shot here. And now the guy drops the can here and we transition into this shot. And now all we actually have to do to make the transition more exciting is go to time, enable time remapping. And I'm just going to create a keyframe here, the first frame. Woof. And I'm going to speed this up by just bringing the keyframes closer together. If you don't know how to speed ramp, make sure to also check out the speed ramp tutorial. That's where I'm explaining everything to you in detail. But now to show you, I'm here in the speed graph. I'm just changing here the speed. So it looks like something like that. You just see, I just sped the whole sequence up. I made it smoother with the speed graph. So we have something like this. Awesome. Like that, boom. We can maybe even speed up this part even more. We go back here. So now it's all about fine tuning. To make this transition even smoother, we can bring out the keyframes a little bit further apart. And now we're going to also add the effect force motion blur because now you can see it's going to add motion blur because we sped up the clip. Let me disable it quickly. This way you can see it's just so much smoother, right? Boom. Now we have a clean transition. And here on that clip, to give that clip even more power, you can do actually exactly the same. You just right click it, time enable time remapping, and you're going to speed up the clip again, just like that, as we just did for the transition, same, same. And if you spend more time here on the keyframes, it's going to look better. It's all about the details, literally. I just wanted to show you what is possible using the AI tools and now you can create such seamless transitions. And I think this is just really epic and a great way to use those tools because you could do the same with real footage. If you have any type of footage, you could just import the two frames and transition between the last frame of your first video and the first frame of your second video. And this way with speed ramping and adding motion blur, we can go seamless between those clips. And we can also add shakes to really enhance the impact of the can dropping. I think that was a super quick way of creating an amazing transition. Definitely would be a super complex shot without AI. So I think here for the time we just spent on that transition, that is worth the time to enhance your videos, to create even smoother transitions. So guys, let me know what you think down in the comments, what tutorials you want to see next. What do you think of this type of effect? And I would also love to see what you guys are going to create with the things and the techniques, the skills you learn here on the channel. With that being said, I wish you all an amazing day and I can't wait to see you in the next one.